What you guys got another video here for you this one's just a quick video on the best tools to use to keep your software updated now you may be thinking that i don't need to update my software but you do because there's loads of issues with software i.e bug fixes security issues uh, security holes and malware loves to attack uh, particular types of uh, software when there's uh, holes in there or bugs and they can exploit those so it's always best to keep your software updated so I'm going to show you five pieces of software you can use to uh, check for updates on all your software and it will also some of them will even automatically update them in the background so let's take a look here so we have got uh, update notifier this is one tool that's free to use and you can uh, download this and uh, once you've run this it will notify you of all the updates for the software now I'll show you a couple of these in action I'm not going to show you every single one of them because they all do pretty much the same thing uh, but another one here is called File Hippo, and it's called File Hippo App Manager. Uh, this will actually scan your system and uh, show you uh, what is out of date and uh, allow you to update those uh, software. Also, you've got the Personal Software Inspector, and this is a pretty decent one. Uh, this is going to allow you to run scans on your system, and it will automatically update that um, that software for you in the background if you wanted to do that now you can set it up to uh, let you know that there's updates available and you can then update them but it's always best to let it update itself automatically another one is called app updater and I think this is just a, a guy that keeps this updated himself how frequent I do not know uh, but basically it's a tool that does exactly the same type of thing and one more we'll have a look at is the sumo which basically does the same thing as all the others it scans your system and it lets you know what's outdated and what is up to date uh, so let's take a look at some of these in action so the first one we'll take a look at is the Sukuna PSI I'm going to run this and what this is going to do is connect to the server you see it loading here and now we can do a scan now you've also got some settings here where you can see uh, you can set it up so you can see here update recommended I've got that to notify uh, which is not recommended uh, but I don't want it updating a load of software on my system at the moment uh, while I'm doing a tutorial but normally uh, you can have this set to update uh, recommended and I want to show you some ones that are out of date so I can show you that how it detects them so you've also got here uh, automatic upgrade and detail uh, view as well you can put that in there once you've done that you can run a scan now this is also good for PC repair techs to scan the system to find out what's outdated and as you can see here it gives us a full list uh, of what's outdate, uh, outdated and what can be updated and you can see here it does all the browsers it does uh, pretty much everything uh, here now if I had this set to if I had this set to another location like this update recommended it would automatically update all these for you so as a PC repair tech you can run this on the system and then just walk away and it will update all that software for you uh, knowing that uh, everything is updated and uh, you can be uh, rest assured that the system is safe and secure once you give it back again this uh, as you can see here it gives you the installed version and, and the secure version and crit and how critical it is uh, to update now again when it comes to malware and it comes to software uh, malware can find uh, holes in software and find a way through if it's not kept up to date so it's always advisable to keep this type of stuff updated as you can see here and that's that one there I just wanted to show you that and I uh, just want to show you uh, the file hippo uh, app manager this is another one this will this is not so in-depth this will do just apps here but you can see here it's just showing me uh, what I can download and run uh, so this is another uh, type of uh, tool and they're all they're all slightly different but you can see it's detecting most of the other apps that it found on the other one but it this doesn't do um, Windows updates I don't think let me just have a look here uh, but I don't use this one particularly I use the other one uh, but you can you've got settings here that you can set up uh, to uh, set it up how you want but basically this just does a lot of apps and scans a lot of the apps on your system to find out whether they're outdated or not anyway so I'm going to close that one off 
uh, there is some other ones here that you can check out yourselves so you've got this one here and also uh, there is uh, this one which is done by uh, a person I think who keeps this updated I'm not sure how, how often he does keep you updated but they do do uh, a portable version on here um, so if you want to give that a shot give it a go and also this one's been around for a while the old sumo uh, this is quite good as well uh, to use and you can download and give that a, a go as well it, you find out which one you like best and uh, you can stick with that one anyway I'm going to wrap this one up I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos also if you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that or video requests you can always head over to my forums and also if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page then give us a little like up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.